Hi, my name is Loretta Jackson and I'm a physical therapist with Any Baby Can. We're part of the Early Childhood Intervention Program and we offer services for babies and young children from birth to three years old. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a very important activity that all babies should do, and that is tummy time. Tummy time is very important for babies to learn to roll over, to crawl, and to develop with the appropriate milestones. So what I'm gonna show you now is the first steps in tummy time that you would do with a young infant. So this activity is going to be with your baby, with you laying on the bed or on the couch on a couple of pillows on an incline. And what I'd like you to do with your newborn is hold your newborn up against your chest and your stomach and allow him to just rest with um, their head to one side. If the baby tries to pick his head up to look at you, that's wonderful and you could encourage it by talking to them. But I just need the babies to spend some time in this position. And one of the things that I would be looking for is I would like sometimes for your child's head to be a little bit to one side and then sometimes for your baby's head to be to the other direction. Then by the time your baby is about two months, he really should be getting stronger in this position and um, wanting to lift his head up and push up on his elbows. This is a great time for you to talk to your baby, to work on making eye contact, and to really start to have some good conversations. And he's working on his strength and development of his head, his back, and his shoulders. And he's also working on maintaining eye contact, and you may get some cooing and talking. Once your baby is comfortable resting on your chest, it's good to start um, placing the baby face down. It can be on a pillow, it can be on the couch, it can be on a bed, um, and it may be helpful for you to stay with your baby and um, keep them company and place your hand on the baby's back so that the baby knows that you're close by. Um, one of the things that I have learned is sometimes babies enjoy being a little bit higher up in the air where they can look around the room a little bit more. In addition to tummy time on your chest, it's also really good for babies to start to work on tummy time on the floor. And parents sometimes will have different preferences about when they feel comfortable putting their baby on the floor. But I really would recommend by the time the baby's about three months old, I would want them to be spending some time on the floor every day. And um, getting them to be able to learn to push up onto their elbows and to look at toys and interact with toys. And after your baby, by three months or so, will be doing fairly well, pushing up on his elbows. And then there's these toys that they're very interested in, and they're gonna start reaching and starting to grab the toy. And what I look for as a therapist is I want sometimes the baby to use the left hand, and then sometimes I want the baby to use the right hand. So the next step, after you've learned to push up is being able to reach for toys in this position. Another toy that babies really love are infant mirrors. If you have an infant mirror, safety mirror that you can place in front of the child, very often that's very encouraging um, to help the baby push up on their elbows. The next step, you've got your baby, he's reaching for toys. I would start to put the toys off a little bit more to the side 
and what I'm looking for with the baby at this point, and this would be maybe well, closer to around a five month, six month skill, is I'm looking for the baby to start to pivot on his tummy and be able to pivot and reach toys. And I use um, the analogy that I'm looking for the child to pivot like the hands on a clock. And it's gonna be just a little bit at first. Don't put it so far out of reach that the baby just can't get to it. Just a little bit off to the side so that the baby can start to learn to pivot to one way and pivot to the other direction. I would recommend at least 20 to 30 minutes a day. Now the baby doesn't need to spend all that time at once. It can be three minutes multiple times, it can be five minutes, but the goal within a 24 hour period is 20 to 30 minutes a day. So the ultimate goal for tummy time and floor time is we want all of our babies to learn to crawl. Crawling is a very important developmental milestone. They learn a lot of really important skills. They learn to control all um, four extremities at the same time, both arms and both legs. And the way our brains work is our left side of our brain controls the right side of our body and our right side of our brain controls the left side of our body and we're, we're moving all four extremities at the same time, there's a lot of communication that's going on between both hemispheres. It also helps your baby to learn spatial awareness. As they crawl across the floor, they can learn to judge distance. How far away is the toy? How far away is the couch, the coffee table? It helps with depth perception. It helps develop hand skills that um, help them with fine motor for um, handwriting and manipulating utensils. Um, it also helps them when uh, they've learned to crawl. Usually their uh, walking is, is, is better and they have better balance and there's, it's more coordinated. And then the last reason that we um, recommend, we really encourage all of our babies to, to crawl is that researchers have found that babies that skip the crawling phase have a higher rate of learning disabilities. Now that's not a guarantee. Many babies can grow up without crawling and do not end up with learning issues, but there is a higher correlation. And so the benefits of crawling are worth spending the time on your tummy and on the floor.